There's this book, The Outliers, Malcolm Gladwell, and a lot of what he talks about is if you're in the right place at the right time, and I think that a lot of my success had to do with that. When you think of Hollywood, you think of the movies, you think of the entertainment industry, and it's so funny how one small city sort of like controls the entire world. I was a kid in LA taking pictures of what was happening in LA, and it was interesting for people in other parts of the world to see that. Most people know me as a photographer, but I feel that I've sort of become more of a renaissance man. I like to be involved in as many projects and as many things as I can at once. And over the years, I've, I've traveled around the world more times than I can remember. And I've sort of been really um, excited about learning about culture, documenting culture, and inspiring culture. When uh, I was a young boy, my mom sort of like treated me a little bit as a, as a girl also. And she would always dress me and take me shopping with her and make me, you know, pay attention to fashion and stuff. And I didn't really like going to normal clothing stores. I, I preferred uh, going to thrift shops and vintage stores because I felt that it was a more unique um, way to express yourself. And I think what's so interesting and sort of groundbreaking and innovative for me when I think about vintage clothes and, and what I've been doing with, with uh, selling them online and, and creating this kind of energy. You end up finding these vintage pieces and then next season they're created for the runway. And so I think that when you're wearing vintage clothes, I think you're really doing good for, for yourself, for the environment, and, and you'll find you'll find something a lot more unique. Look it, I just found these. I got them in the $2 bin. Like, they gave them to me for free. I got this too, I thought it was weird. Tank top. When you can shop vintage, you're, you're gonna be ahead of the curve because you're finding things that have already been creative, but if you interpret them in, a, in the proper way, th they can be very groundbreaking. The Cobra Snake name has no meaning. Uh, at all, and that's what I love about it because it lets people wonder and, and it confuses people. You know, it doesn't mean photography, it doesn't mean fashion, it doesn't mean anything. It, it's, it's proper definition as a, a reptile. Are you Swedish? I kind of despise those people that are such purists that say, oh, I'm a painter and I'll never take a photograph, or I'm a photographer, like I would never do a drawing. And I don't like to limit myself to one form of creativity, sort of put myself in any sort of box. And, and I think that's what makes me happy to explore and uh, try everything.